Well, you made it to the end. I truly hope that you've enjoyed this Excel Charts in Detail title and that you've learned something that will be of some use in your daily use of Excel and charts in Excel. So what kind of things did we cover? Which was your favourite chart type? The bar chart? Column chart? Pie chart? Pie of a pie? Now that was my favourite. Line charts? Radar charts? Scatter charts? Area charts? Surface charts? Or possibly a combo chart that uses one or more of these chart types? And we covered quite a lot of things in this charts in detail. We covered a lot of the options that are customizable and controllable in your charts, such as axes and axes labels and the scale on these axes, grid lines, whether you have them, whether you have the major ones, whether you have the minor ones, whether you want to set the value for your major and minor lines. Adding data labels, particularly important on the pie charts because you can use the percentage option, which you cannot use in any other chart. Where you want your chart, do you want it in a sheet, do you want it on its own, do you want it multiple options, so you have multiple charts in a single sheet, all based on the same data, but showing you something different. The styles that are involved, the colours that are available, whether you would like a legend or not a legend, or customise that legend, and then the ability to add trend lines to show the path of your data. Labels, static and dynamic. So we saw how we could add our own labels, but actually make them dynamic so that they're driven by the value of another cell. Adding objects, shapes, and pictures. Pictures statically on the image or as part of the background for a bar or a column or an area on a pie. We looked at special charts, the charts that don't often get used because people are sticking with the common charts for data, such as columns, bars, lines, and sometimes pies. So we looked at pie charts and we looked at pie charts in a great lot of detail. We looked at pies of pies, very exciting special charts, allowing you to break one slice of a pie into another full pie. Combo charts, where you can combine multiple chart types in the same graph. Stock charts, so that you can map your stock values through a day. This one here shows you the volume as well, but we looked at the four possible stock charts. Radar charts. That's a different way of displaying your data so that it shows relativeness between one of the series or one of the categories. Scatter for graphing X and Y values. Here we did it against rainfall and temperature, but you could do it with any pairs of values that will create quite a good scatter graph. Now, other things that we considered when we went through this whole title were things like the data itself, what data can we use, which parts of the data are available, which parts of the data make sense when graphed. We looked at the potential for printing charts and actually how much easier it is in Excel than actually just to print an Excel sheet. We looked at sharing your graphs by embedding them and linking them in Word documents and PowerPoint documents. And we even looked at the ability to create a single chart from data held in multiple sheets. That involved us editing the actual data source for each individual chart. And of course, we looked at the clever little spark lines when a chart just seems too much and too big, but you still want some graphical representation, a spark line will do. Well, I'm hoping that you've enjoyed this whole title and that you've learned something. If you do have any comments, queries, or questions at all regarding Excel 2013 chart in details, then please contact me using my email address training at nybytes.co.uk.